Well, 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 well. You're listening to Gloves Off with Professor Butron. All right then, I miss say words on point, straight forward. No dream about job, but everybody forward. Issues, facts and solutions. Get it at gloves off with Professor Mutron. All right, what are the thing is a revolution. Get it on point with Professor Mutron. Gloves off, no nonsense issues, politics, community. A better men for a reader. Gloves off, a revolutionary show. With everything that you need to know. With Professor Mutron. Watch ya! Gloves off is always on point. On point. Bringing you the best on current issues, community affairs, and the happenings around us. This segment of Gloves Off is brought to you by the best. So pay them a visit. Check them out. This is Gloves Off. Political paid advertisements do not reflect the political opinions of the program or its associates. Any political campaign or candidate who wishes to purchase advertising can do so. Advertising is open to all on behalf of Gloves Off.
We're back at you in gloves off. Today we have Laredo City Councilman Mercurio Martinez. How are we doing? Doing all right, Councilman. How's everything? Good. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. How's the New Year treating you? New Year has been pretty good. Uh, my son, uh, my older son, good, just got engaged. So oh, congratulations. We'll have an well, to the family. Memory. So, yeah. Well, bad one, but it's no, so that's, that's good. Uh, <laughs> She's a great, uh, great gal. Um, the family's fantastic. Oh, I've known awesome. them for a long, long time, and so we're pretty excited. Yeah, and you know, it's it's always a thrill. Yeah, uh, when you see that, yeah, it's always a, a thrill. So tell us what's coming up to, in twenty twenty with the city of Laredo. Well, lots of good stuff are coming up in twenty twenty. We're we're talking about a new city manager, uh, of course. Um, the council created the. The ad, uh, an ad hoc committee to review uh, applications uh, to vet them, and they've got a bunch of candidates that they're going to uh, interview. And uh, I'm sure that if they like one, two, or three, or four, I don't know how many they're going to like, they'll, uh, they'll send it to us, and uh, the council will review. The, the two, three, or four, whatever whatever they send us, and then we'll make a decision. That's great, you know. And and the two interim uh, city managers have been doing great. Both I've been the very Eads, Eads and, and uh, Rosario, Rosario, Rosario she's been Camello doing great. and Rob, Robert Alexander Eads. Eads. They've been doing great, you know. I, I like what they've done. They, they complement each other very well. Uh, the city's in a great shape. Sure. And it's in a good position, and and both of them together have done very good for our community. I think I don't know why not just keep them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we could, I guess. I guess. Uh, you know we what I'm saying? Keep, about that. They actually keep both of them because they're doing a great job. Yeah. You know, and I would I would rather see that than see somebody that's going to come in and try to figure out what's going on and. Try to understand the balance of Laredo, and then all of a sudden, two two years down the road, he's still trying to figure out where the bathrooms are. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but other than that, I think I think it's a change that Laredo has here. But I think it's done good. They have done very well, and I've been very pleased with their with their work, uh, and and with their ethics, uh, with their logic, uh, with their way of being, the way of treating our city so we, we, we've done well by them and how's the rest of the council do they feel the same or I'm how's, not sure. how's, I mean, we how's, the, how's the consensus well, the consensus uh, the whole consensus is that they've been together they've been doing a great job maybe really that's really what we need well, it's a possibility you know what I mean because yeah. we've always had just one just one that's true yeah. maybe we should have five or five six, six you know what I mean two and <laughs> I was like okay they kind of balance everybody out. Yeah. yeah I mean I don't know I've been happy with them I mean they, they're like I said, they, they've done a great work, very responsible, so. That's awesome. I was um, gonna, what else do you see? Well, we, we've got several things uh, coming along as well. Uh, we've got new representation in, in our lobbyists in Washington that are working for us. Uh, we've got representation uh, in Austin as well, and so we've got different projects that we have to go and, and, and visit and shake some hands in both Washington and in Austin. Um, we've got um, we've got different road projects that we're working on, uh, Outer Loop. Uh, we've got uh, some revitalization of, of uh, some city streets. I'm working on the Corpus Christi corridor uh, between uh, Arkansas uh, Street and, and I-35. Uh, so I'm still dealing with with the uh, Carranco building, which is the old nursing hospital. Sure. So we still have that. Uh, we've got uh, Recode Laredo, which is an ongoing thing uh, that, that uh, is happening. Uh, so there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that we're working on, good positive things. I'm talking about Recode Laredo. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people talk negative about it. Some people talk for it, some people talk against it. So all it's I see it all over the spectrum. Some people associate it with Agenda Twenty One, and some people go off on the conspiracy of that. And what is Rico Laredo? Well, all Rico Laredo. We have a we have a land development code, and we've had it for over thirty years. And that land development code hasn't been. Uh, 
uh, scrutinized or updated. And, and so it, it's, it's time that we do that. Uh, there's, some, there's some laws for development that need to, might be obsolete. And so uh, we've got a group that is are looking at all those laws, all those ordinances for developing in our community and, and looking at them to see if, if they still work. Uh, if they need to be tweaked, uh, if they need to be done away with, um, just parking alone. Um, you, you've got areas where you don't have enough parking, but yet they were allowed to right. put up a bar or a restaurant without any parking. Yeah, and, you, and, you see, and you see that with the codes, you know? Mm -hmm. and Laredo kind of had its faces, it was kind of like, who you know, you built here. If you didn't know them, you didn't build them, you know? And I think people are trying to balance away from that. But I ran into a, a building, a general contractor, mm -hmm. uh, one that builds a developer. Mm -hmm. And he was all against it. And I was like, why are you against it? And he was just like, no, because it's just, they want us to do all this extra stuff that we, it's not Sure, needed. we're asking the developers to build sidewalks. What do they work building sidewalks before? And so our, we're asking them through re, recode is, is build sidewalks. No, uh, he was talking about bike lanes. And, you know, we're talking stuff. about bike lanes, et cetera. One of the things, we've adopted a, a, a program, uh, um, the name escapes me, but it's, it has something to do with zero. Um, Vision zero? Vision zero, thank you. And, and, and all it is is that we want to try and reduce uh, the the uh, mortality rate uh, when it comes to driving, uh, you, you re reduce the, the, the accidents that are happening. And, and when you start looking at all of that, uh, you look at, at streets. Sure. Because um, we're looking at cars that are driving. And, and so when you've got a street that is wide open, well, the tendency is to put a little bit more gas on in, in your vehicle and go a little faster. So your bike lanes uh, will take up a, a, a portion of that street, so therefore you reduce the the lane, and, and when you have a reduction in lane, you tend to drive a little bit slower. Uh, we're also one of the, the uh, lowest socioeconomic classes in, in, in the state. And, and so when, when you have people that can't afford a car, well then they get around on the bus or, or they get along on the bike, on the bicycle. And so we must provide uh, lanes for, for bicycles. You know, I've, I, I understand the rationale, mm -hmm. but also there's quite a bit of talk that Vision Zero is also a Agenda 21 factor. No, Agenda yeah, 21 so, is a conspiracy theory. No, it's very much alive. But uh, it's a there are those that believe that it's very you know, much so, alive. So when you start I, looking at all this stuff, the like Dyke and, and, you know, and, and, like, and, and Rush Limbaugh and, 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 you know, the, and, and, the, and the frogs that are gay, but what happens is that you need to understand mm -hmm. that there are cities that they have already done bike lanes and all of a sudden they had more accidents that they tried to prevent. Now, they're, now the bike lanes are there, but now... They have no bike lanes anymore. They took them off the meter. They spent thousands upon thousands mm -hmm. of doing that. Well, there are certain areas that but, are doing bike lanes. For instance, the Corpus Christi uh, Street, uh, San Bernardo. These are major arter uh, arterial um, areas that you're going to have people going to work on bikes. Uh, certainly, you have your cartoneros in the, in the downtown area. You don't see as much as, of them as you used to, but but they're still there, uh, and so we must accommodate them. But you know, there's no conspiracy theory going on here, at least not on my part. No, I understand that, but you know, there's a, there, there's an old saying: "No es una cosa buena que sea mala, una cosa mala que sea buena." Yeah. Well, the idea is that that uh, when we're looking at at our development uh, land development code. We want to have accessibility. We want to have accessibility to the parks. I know when I was growing up, I, I grew up in La Steca neighborhood until we moved over to the sure, Heights area. 
and and as a kid, we were always on the streets and we were always on the bikes. So we, we, we biked everywhere. We were like that, yeah. And, 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 and you don't see that. You anymore. don't see that anymore because you you when you talk about growth and you talk about development, uh, you've got the grid system, which was the system that I grew up in. But then then Del Mar C came along and those. The grid, grid systems are no there. longer there, so you've got these long streets, and so you want your kid to go out and play, um, and they want to go to the park, but to get to the park, let's say the park's on the west side, and and so instead of going west, they have to go east to get to west because mm -hmm. the streets go in such a way. Um, then we have these cul-de-sacs, and cul-de-sacs are fine because people want to. Uh, live at the end and the traffic and all that, but statistically, more accidents happen in the cul-de-sac than they do on the regular street. So, you know, we and we have we we're kind of spoiled in that area, mm -hmm. okay? Because you know we grew up in the grid system, as you say, and I grew up in Louisville. We're, we're, we're little there. city, big city, you know. <laughs> and uh, people here was like, you know, we kind of do whatever you want. You know, the Vision Zero won't work because here we have two two lanes, and people make it a four lane. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be on the right side when there's no no lane, so I'm gonna go right because I'm gonna turn right. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna turn right as well? Well, no, I'm from Laredo and. And I'm going to turn right. So, right. Like, so, <laughs> so you have. I'm going to make a U turn right here. Right, no, and you and you see that. So, and we have a difference here because we live in the border. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of traffic from Mexican citizens that don't have the same driving tests that we have here. So yeah. anybody over there just gets a license, as per se, and they come over here. That's why our insurances are so high, and they cause more accidents than anything else. All of a sudden, they go bye bye. See you later, Lulu. Yeah. And. So it's going to be a good one, you know. When well, I one of the things that we're doing, and, and we've got a, a new traffic director uh, in Dan McGee, and, and he's for, formerly with TechStock. He used to run this division for the TechStock. And right now we are targeting the whole city of Laredo, but we're targeting different neighborhoods, and we're moving on to the next neighborhood. And so all the districts are going to get this, but uh, we're, we're ticketing uh, people that, that are parking right or, or going against uh, uh, one-way streets, etc. So we're issuing tickets out there, and it's not because we need the money, but it's it's just to it 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 happens people. You know, we're here on Hillside, mm -hmm. and every morning and every afternoon, you see the school bus stop. Stop signs are out, lights are on, are out. and you have people yeah. cro crossing yeah. it left and right. Especially like, the oncoming vehicles from the other side. Yeah, and you're like, wait a minute, man. You know, you're supposed to stop on both sides. They continue. I wish police officers would stand right here. Yeah, well, that's make money. That you have to do that's that. That's you know? part of but, Vision Zero. That's and uh, it's it's a difference, you know. But when you start, what gets a lot of people upright uh, upright is it's always the same group pushing these new ideas. It's not another group saying, you know what, let's put this out here. It's always the same Well the thing is that ten people that are kind of pushing this whole idea over there so people start saying, hey, what's but that's going always on? the case in anything because I mean you, you join a club or, or or an organization and you have the same group of people that are always very involved. Uh, you're you're a Mason and, mm -hmm. and you go to your Masonic lodge and you're gonna see that there's Four or five different people that are always running the show, and 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 the same is true for a city. Uh, I you, wish you were that way, but you know. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> so you know, you got some people that want to teach than others. Well, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So, true. But you, know, but you know, you just rather rather not. I understand what you're saying. I understand that there's some groups, but it's kind of hard to. I mean, you look at you look at uh, uh, some of these watchdog groups. It's the same watchdog group over and over and they're very naysayers and no 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 and the first time you yeah there's nothing to do here but well yeah we're trying to do something you won't let us so so you have the same people coming over and so when it comes to the city uh you've got your your activists that that want to do better for the city and 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 you've got those activists that just concentrate on the downtown you have the other activists that Concentrate on, let's say, San Bernardo. Then, then you have the other activists that say, you know, no development all around. Then you have your other activists. So you have your pockets of people, and that's why. 
Yeah. It looks like it's always the same people. And then, you know what? R lately, we've been getting a lot of young, um, young people, young constituents that have gone to college. They're in their late to early 30s, and they want to get involved. I hope so. And they're bringing in ideas from, from college or, or from their experiences in living in Austin, Houston, Dallas, or Boston, or wherever they come from. And they're bringing in these ideas, and, and, and we see them at City Hall, and, and they're a breath of fresh air. I'm, I, I thank God that they're back in Laredo and want to make a difference. Yeah, you know, I, I see where, you, where you're coming from, because you always need, need to turn, you know, we need a root plot everything mm -hmm. here, basically. You know, I was one of those kids <laughs> when I got, when I got so out of college, I, I came that, back, and I was very involved with the city. And I look at people and I say, what do you actually want? Because you might just want to plant cedar trees up and down the street. Mm -hmm. And we and have those. You understand what I'm saying? But if, like if, but if if the cedar tree is going to die, if, I'm just saying. Right, right. right. I mean, don't, so plant plant cedars, don't, don't, don't plant the cedars. Don't plant the cedars. We want the cedar tree. I know we you. You know, you know what I'm saying? But, but it's going to die. But no, but we need that cedar tree. You know but what I'm saying? That kind of right. thing. Right, so. but, but that's, that's why we have a good mix. For instance, I was that guy coming out of college, full of vigor, and I wanted to do things, and I got involved with the city, and ad hoc committees, and committees, and I was appointed here, and appointed there, and, and for 30 years I've been doing that, and I finally I, I run for office, and, and now I'm a council member. But now I have these, these uh, uh, young constituents that are coming, and they're so excited to do something for the city, and, and let's do this, and let's do that, and I'm, and I'm saying, great idea because it, 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 it invigorates me, it, 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 it motivates me, I, I feel pumped because, because they, they bring that to the table, but by the same token, I can say, you know what, they've tried that and it won't work here, or you know what, that'll work, but we have to tweak it this way because I've already, we've done this or we've been there, or, so the age and, uh, comes into effect. You know, that works I'm, very I'm, well. I'm, I'm all for let's build downtown, let's mm -hmm. build this, let's, let's bring well, in that, small. Downtown small. is transforming into another animal. And uh, But, you know, you need small businesses to grow. You need all this stuff to grow. We need a city that's going to be proponent for that. That's correct. But we don't have it. Well, I mean, we, we have a lot of people talking about it, but it's, but but, it's not there. But it's a movement. It's a movement. And, and unfortunately, government just works so slowly and so this movement if you look at council right now we're all getting along so well and we're all talking amongst each other and we're bringing about ideas and 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 so we all recognize that we have to do something for downtown no, of course prior to us the sentiment was oh yeah we got to do something about downtown and then they never did anything about that no, it was more like we're going to force you all to accept this downtown because this is what we want you to do instead of let's... Yeah, but they wouldn't do it. You know, the, the, the downtown just stayed there. But, but, but it was a mentality thing. And it wasn't just a mentality for those that were in downtown, but it was a mentality citywide because it's like, oh, why are you throwing tax dollars over there? Downtown's dead. Oh, put it over here instead. Oh, put it over there instead. Then, but we're all thinking, you know, that downtown is our... Our heart. Yes, transportation is our livelihood. Yes, transportation is our heart, but but our soul is downtown. I mean, we grew up where Man Road, that way was Monte. Mm -hmm. El Luco. Luco. You know, that's <laughs> it. That was the end of the story, yeah. you know? Yeah. Man Road was Laredo. Well, I remember the, KG, that, And you know what I'm saying? When KGNS went out there, it was way out there. You know, and there was no, there was no Mac McPherson didn't. It was Caliche in that's parts right. of it, you know? And people do not understand that. Cotton Road was Caliche, and the hillside was Caliche. It wasn't until late 80s that that was paid. That's right. And uh, so a lot of things changed within the 90s. They started paving all a bunch of streets. And then somewhere along the line, they didn't put in sidewalks or what have you not. But now... Well, they uh, always had sidewalks. In certain areas. areas. But in certain areas. If you look, if you look at If you look at the old... The downtown... Okay. If you look downtown at the progression had. of downtown... So... Laredo started downtown, and when the 
when the owners and and the store owners, etc., they all lived down there. There, but when their kids started getting married and wanting to do, where did they progress? They went to St. Peter's area, and you have sidewalks there too. And and when those were having kids and and wanting their own houses, and and now it was too populated, where did they go? Well, they went west or or they went to the Heights, the old uh, Montrose area, and you have sidewalks there. So in the grid system, you in had, those areas you we had, had them. them. But as developers started to come in, and they started, they they built, uh, they built uh, uh, Del, Mar, uh, Del Mar, Hillside, all these areas were the new north there, and they were all going north. But Hillside they has quit doing. No, Hillside has. Hillside has some. Hillside has sidewalks, Belmont has sidewalks. It was all the way up to Del Mar. Del Mar, Del Mar doesn't have sidewalks. Everything that was built from Spring, Springfield, kind of Norte, kind of Gale, that way, yeah. well, doesn't instance, have any. For instance, I bought or if they do, if they do, they have some on, on one the, side, one side on of the road. Area. Yeah. Now, I bought a 1952 home in the Heights. Sure. So my house was built in 1952, and there's a sidewalk right there. Sure. And, and then, Right past the sidewalk is a green space, and then it's the street. And when you're looking at recoding, and 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 you're looking at all that urbanism, etc. What does it talk about? It talks about their studies are talking about. Oh, we got to put sidewalks, but we got to have green space, mm -hmm. and we got to separate the vehicle from the guy walking. And so we need that green space. And that's exactly what's in front of my house. Yeah, but that's the way but now they're about. riding a, sure. a bike lane. Now, my neighbor, my immediate neighbor, built a house. And they don't have a sidewalk in front of their house. And they built that in 2000, well, I forgot when. But I asked the neighbor, I said, neighbor, why didn't you just continue? Because my sidewalk stops at the end of my property line. And then... And then she built, my, my, our neighbor built, and I said, neighbor, hey neighbor, why didn't you build a sidewalk here? And she told me, I wanted to build a sidewalk. The city didn't allow me. I'm like, en que cabeza? Continue with the sidewalk. But why? Because then you cross the street, and you have an older house like mine, and you have sidewalk. And the sidewalk continues. It's all the way down the blocks. So the city went got away from all of that and that's why Rico Laredo has to look at stuff like that and say wait a minute developer you gotta put a sidewalk in and it makes sense to put one in but the developer's not gonna want the, most of them are saying yeah no problem I'll do it you know the end user's gonna pay for it but some developers are saying ah, you know that's more money I gotta dish out yeah but you gotta dish it out for the greater good of the community you know, and that's that's where that's where it comes out. You know, because Laredo has been. That's why I say spoiled. We had people that walk in there, and well, you know what? I want to build this over here. Well, you don't have the parking. Oh, yeah, you can build it now. Now you can, yeah, now you can put it in. So you have those, whether it's favors for the friend or what have you. Yeah, that kind that, of that kind of spoiled mentality. But, that's what we. But have. see that. Code. So we have to break that. Yeah, and that's why that. When you have when you have a population of people, and and I might be okay building this, and I'm fine, I'm happy, but then my neighbor might say, "Wow, well, can we really see this? Wow, there's you we," and then they go to council, and man, you got to do some sort of law because because look at what my neighbor built, you know. Or let's say I build a house and I have a swimming pool. And then, and my name, I have a neighbor behind me and no problem. And I have a neighbor on, on each side of me and no problem. I've got my swimming pool. But all of a sudden, the neighbor decides to do a two story deck five feet from my fence line that overlooks my swimming pool. And let's say I wanted that, I built that pool for the privacy and for my enjoyment. But now I have my neighbors looking and I don't feel comfortable anymore. All right. And so then, all of a sudden, it's we're we're asking city government help me do something. You can't let him build that. So we have to put in place whenever you have more than 
a, a few in population, sure. you've got to put in rules and regulations. You have to. So right? that way everybody gets along. Hey, that's, that's understood. Without the compadreism of, oh yeah, you know, ayúdame aquí porque they say I can't do it, pero I, no, no, that, that, that element has to go away. And I hope so. Because we've been spoiled for a very long time. That's when I call it say spoiled. Yeah, yeah. Chiflados. And, and, and that's why Recode Laredo is, has, has to happen. It has to happen. And I'm pretty sure that, that not everything in Recode Laredo is going to be like, oh, no, you know, this we can take, that right there, no, you know. No, it, it looks as... it's still going to be going before council and people... Actually, actually Recode Laredo, uh, we've got a new uh, uh, planning director... Um, and he's fantastic and, and very smart and, and he brings in new ideas to, to town uh, and, and he's working, he's getting acclimated uh, to the Laredo um, population because uh, he, he's not from here. Uh, the way we do things is totally different and he's realized that but he's not one of these sticklers you know, wow, we can't, no, 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 he's adjusting. I have a, a, a professor who passed away uh, in college that used to uh, tell us, uh, we were in marketing, and he used to tell us, you keep one eye on what you're doing and one eye on looking around so that you can adjust. Sure, of course. And like any good plan, you need to adjust. And so here in the planning department, we need to adjust as well. Of course. And so um, w one of the things that we're doing with, with uh, Recode Laredo is that we're going to have meetings uh, inviting the public in each one of the eight district council districts. And so we can bring in d different segments of the population to have input. And so these people that have told you that they're not happy with this, they can go and voice their opinion. Sure. And their opinion will be taken into consideration. And, and let me know when it's going to happen. And we'll we've put, been publicizing we'll, 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 in the newspaper. And we'll publicize so it, has, it, it, it out there. Let out. me know for us to post it out there for people to start going. Because mm -hmm. people need, you know what I'm saying, need, need right. to do that. It can't be a forced upon, oh, you know, we're going to put a bike lane because we want a bike lane. Wait, wait a minute, but there's too much traffic. Oh, you hate us? You hate us? You're a hater? You're a, wait, wait. wait a minute. You know, yeah. I, I hung up my bike when you guys were still playing with Barbie dolls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> do, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, wait, wait a minute. When you guys were still playing with your with your sister's dolls, my, I was out there in a quarter pipe. Yeah. I had a banana bike. You know, you know what I'm saying? So that, I mean, and then a Huffy came around and so I know. I mean, I, I remember one time we were riding in the mall and, and a friend of mine got hit by a car right, right outside. The, uh -huh. and, and, got, bah, and the guy comes out, oh, are you okay? He goes laying down there. And he goes, no. And we're starting. The guy goes, here's a hundred... Here's a hundred bucks, and he goes like, "Here's two hundred bucks." I gave him three fifty, oh, and the kid got up, shoot, took off, you know, with the bike. And I said, "Well, you know, it's Laredo, you know, but that's what happened." Yeah. So we were riding around all over the place. Yeah, but and now still, you can't. Now well, you can't. You know now you've I mean? got other elements because we didn't have as many cars on the streets no, we, that we have now. Then the other thing is, I mean, you see it in the news all the time, and. Know, they're kidnapping and all sorts, so you don't want them riding bike. But all that men that mentality, I mean, I mean, the, gotta change. that 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 about the kid kidnapping and stuff like that, it's pretty out there. It's it's serious. It's and, serious. And, and but that's why you, likely ain't gonna change that. Yeah. No. But, but <laughs> learning how to defend but yourself. But strength numbers. <laughs> you know, learning learning how to defend yourself and and having being able to be fast in the bike will. You know. Yeah, that's true. But uh, and that's what's going to help the detour. Right. Well, when that happens, that's a totally different different. Yeah, but there's certain areas of the uh, of of the uh, city that we they're I needed. I mean, there's none over there, and you you know um, certain neighborhoods you pass by, and we need more speed bumps and back lanes because people are just. But that but see you know like you know why you like, put speed mean? humps? You put speed humps in in the street. In essence, to well. They're there to reduce, so now you have to slow down. But why? Because, because you built wrong. You built a very long stretch of road in a neighborhood that doesn't have inner streets, so, and they're very wide, so what is the tendency? All but, all right? If you go to the grid system, 
you ah, chihuahuas, I have to slow down porque sale un pelado on the other side, uh, you know, I, I'm going to have to be prepared to break. And so you, you, you reduce your speed. And so the speed humps are there just... I mean, we, we need more speed, down, you know, we need more speed bumps all over the place more than, you know what I'm saying? See, and then, see, and I'll get a phone call from a constituent saying, oh, we need a speed hump here. And so I'll go look over there and it's fine. Okay, where, where do you want a speed hump? Oh, right here, because they go really fast. And you look, at least in, in my district, where the grid system. Oh my God, there is a natural speed hump right less than half a block away because because the, the you have the grid system and so you have a dip. I said, so you have a dip there and you want a speed hump here too? See, porque viene muy recio. Okay, define recio. Well, they're doing 20 miles an hour. Well, but when you're standing still, 20 miles an hour is not very fast. No, no, no. there's some streets that the guys but, are, are moving. But there are some streets, yes, there are. And I have put speed humps in different areas. And you know, there's a lot in, in uh, plantation as well. Yeah, but, but again, you, you know, have these the long, long streets. streets you know, you have, you, can, you, have, you have all the neighborhoods around that area that, and some of them have speed, speed humps. Yeah. Now, the, I'll tell you who doesn't like speed humps is the fire department. Oh, and that's the reason why we hesitate in putting in speed humps. Fire department can ruin their equipment. They're very heavy vehicles. Sure. They have a lot of equipment in sure. there. And first of all, if there's an emergency and they have to get to, to somewhere fast, they're going to stop, or not necessarily stop, but really slow down to go through the speed hump. So fire department, ambulances, they do not like speed hump. And that's why we really have to think about what we're doing when it comes to speed hump. Absolutely. So anything else you'd like to say? Well, uh, I want to wish everybody a, a Good new happy year. new year, a beautiful 2020, and a beautiful uh, decade. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. It's a good start. Yeah, it's a good start. I think everything else is going fine. I think, I think, we're in a I great think, place I think right the, now. the the council is like you say they're talking. I saw that last year. We mm -hmm. we've talked about it. We voiced those opinions, and uh, we still have those hate groups out there. But you know we still have to. Well, stop I think them. we're always going to have those hate groups. So you know that the thing I say about 2020 is smile even if they hate you. <laughs> you know, true. but uh, and that's what we need to do. Yeah. Until next time. Thank you. I want you to continue doing what you're doing. You betcha. I want to hear from you, and I want to hear from from your uh, audience. Um, um, it's it's always good to hear from everybody because, like my professor said, you keep one eye on what you're doing, but to, the other you know, roaming around to see how you can adjust. You know, we have the, the the podcast, but people come up to you and they say, "Oh, this is going on. We how come we don't investigate?" Well, I get a message. I go, "This is going on," yeah, but I'm not an investigative reporter. I'm not nothing. Mm -hmm. It isn't just done this just to make sure that those that are lesser informed can go out there and right. understand what's going on. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are, they'll send me stuff, oh, what's about this? What's this? Look at this. And, See, and I look at all of that. And I look when, when, when people start to, hey, 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 I look at it, I, I look deeper into it to, just to see. Because there's, people run on, on hearsay. They heard something and, and, and they don't know the truth, but yet they're spreading, they're spreading, spreading, thinking they know the truth. Well, really? Let's really look into it. And, and Let's see where it's coming out of, yeah. you know? And then in, this was a good clarification of what it is. Mm -hmm. And let's move forward. But when you when those words are associated, then, then we have to stop back and say, wait a minute, why are they associated? Yeah. And let's look into that motive. Because like I said, you might be doing something that is that looks good, with a bad intention, or you can look. I tell you what, there's a lot of bad. That's with a good intention. There's a lot of transparency going on. In this I city. hope you know. There's a it's, lot. It's of, a lot better can, now than it was before. You can log into the city website and you can see who we're paying and why are we paying them and and da 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 da. da. You could look at our checkbook. No, 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 and that's the way it should be done. Yeah, yeah. Until next time. We'll Thank you. Moving and and remember, again. gloves off. Gloves off all the time, and uh, be safe. And we'll be having some debates, so keep keep your eyes up. All right, see you next time. Peace.
following political paid advertisements do not reflect the political opinions of the program or its associates. Any political campaign or candidate who wishes to purchase advertising can do so. Advertising is open to all on behalf of Gloves Off. Gloves off is always on point. On point. Bringing you the best on current issues, community affairs, and the happenings around us. This segment of Gloves Off is brought to you by the best. So pay them a visit. Check them out. This is Gloves Off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 